before we dive with the vehicle, there is obviously a lot of work to be done on the ship side first uh, to enable uh, a successful dive with the ROV. For example, during the night we do some mapping. We're trying to get a better idea of our potential dive site. For a map in the area, we have multi-beam systems, the ones capable of going down to around 9,000 meters, and then based on a number of constraints given to us by the ROV team, depth um, that they want to test the vehicle at, then we'll go and select locations. This also includes what terrain they want to test the vehicle. So eventually we build a 3D model of the seabed and make sure that the data is clean and good enough to use for ROV dives. If we're going to be deploying Sebastian, then we use what's called a dynamic positioning system. It uses GPS position to try and lock the ship in that single spot over the seafloor so that regardless of what the wind, the tides, the weather doing to the ship, the ship will use its main engines and its bow thruster to try and maintain that position over the ground. This is important for the ROV because we want to have the ship immobile so that the ROV team can drive it without having to worry about the ship pulling it one way or the other whilst they deploy. During a pre-dive the main concerns are just to make sure all the equipment's ready for the dives. Um, one thing with ROVs is you don't want to get in the water and have any troubles because you can't pull it out right away. So what you want to do is go over all the major pieces of equipment like the winch, the docking head, the control room and obviously the vehicle and make sure there's not any small or big issues um, with anything. So we do visual checks and inspections of all the things to make sure they're bolted down properly, there's no loose connections, connectors. And then we run through our power-ups which is running through the functions of it. And then we run through the vehicle functions which the thrusters and all the different hydraulic systems Systems, the lights, cameras, sensors, sonars, basically we run through every single thing before every dive um, just to basically flush out any issues and it make sure it's 100%. Well the main target for the next weeks is to integrate the system up to a stage where we can use it for science work and the hope is of course that the vehicle which was built specific to fit on Falco, that that fit is a good one and that we can seamless, um, seamlessly integrate it and can enhance our abilities with this ship.